and uh, have some men around you. Right, so I've bought something today. Oh, not today, the other day. Off a friend of mine, uh, and I've been after it for many years. It came with a leaf, it has a hire, and everyone knows I like cranes. So we've got another crane, because you can never have enough cranes. Um, but yeah, so it's a Scania. So it's got a 920 V8 Scania Rolls-Royce engine. Very powerful, very powerful on meals. Yeah, private registration. No idea what it's supposed to say. What is it? J90, that's what goes in the CVRT, in it? A J, yeah. J90, you know? J90 Rolls-Royce engine. Yeah. Mm. And what does SCN stand for? Scan? Scam. No, it's been a scam. We just dislike anyway, it. We just dislike it. We couldn't get the M. We're going to call this lorry Ling Long because of the tyres. Best thing about it. We've just put brand new brakes on it, which we'll, uh, we'll show you all that. Now, it was dead easy. And we'll show you why we changed the brakes. So obviously, it's going for an MOT. And uh, some of the brake shoes didn't look like me. Uh, that one's good. Mm. They're all cracked and they're parting from the shoe housing. And they actually got a fair lot of meat on them, but they've gone hard because trucks haven't done a lot for a little while, so they've gone hard and they've gone shit. So I think the shoes were £15 a pad, a shoe. And the drums were, were 60 quid, so really, it wasn't that dear, so I've just reshoed it and, and drummed it. So it's got new drums, new shoes, so the brakes should be spot on. We did a bit of welding at the back. Um, yeah, we need to do some, I don't know what colour to paint it. It doesn't look offensive in silver, but it's not really me. Berlin. Oh, I think it needs to be black. I don't know what to do with the uh, crane. I don't like red. Looks a bit. I was over spray Ray, who obviously painted it before. Look, we've got a bit of grey and grey and red going on. Yeah, so I might paint the whole truck back. I don't know what colour to paint the high up. So, if you have an idea, leave it in the comments, and we'll uh, probably ignore what you say anyway. So basically, the idea is we'll, we'll use this for going to shows and and that sort of thing. It's a day cab, so I can sleep in the back. Well, once uh, Seb's valeted it. It's actually not too untidy in there, is it really? But um, yeah, we'll get it cleaned up in there. I can sleep in it at shows. I can take CVRTs and stuff like that to shows. And um, obviously with the crane as well, it's useful around the yard, but I don't want to use the Foden. It's got, actually got quite a, quite a long crane as we uh, had out earlier. Um, so I can use it for pack lifts and that sort of thing, if I needed to, or or going off and finding a vehicle in a ditch. That'd be quite fun to get the crane and pull it out. But yeah, and also around the farm, so I can use it for cutting the bales off the, off the um, field down the bottom here. Because uh, obviously Dad's, Dad's getting on a little bit. His, uh, as some of you know, his fast track caught fire. And he has actually just bought a replacement tractor. He hasn't gone for another fast track again. He's gone for some Herleman piece of rubbish. Um, that we're going to pick up from Cambridge Machinery Sale, which anyone that knows that you buy a tractor on Cambridge is going to be a bag of shit. Uh, and apparently it is making a noise. When you press the clutch, the noise goes away. So I imagine the first thing we're going to have to do is split it in half. So he's bought that, but I thought, you know, while he's got his new broken tractor, when he mows the field and bales it in the next uh, week or so, we can use the mighty Scania to cart the bales back. And it's not legal because we're using it on the farm itself. Um, I won't be able to actually go down the road with bales, I would be pushing it a little bit. But um, yeah, no, just a bit of general use, and obviously, we've got a few sheds going up for storing the vehicles in. And I'm going to make some pole barns, so hopefully, it'll be useful for uh, stick a few pole barns up. Here's this. People just turn up here all the time, like they own the place. But yeah, so that's the Scania, you'll see bits of that in the video. But we have done a little bit on the Diamond T. I will show you what we've done in a separate video, so there'll be some of that coming. We've got another Abbott pack down here, 
that we're building up. We've got Diane Abbott actually out at the moment, which is basically. Shag off. Thanks, Gary. I'm just filming a video. I'll call you back in a minute. People are so rude. Oh, they are. So rude. So rude. Very stupid and very fat. Um, yeah. Oh, so the, the other thing we've got to do, so the next uh, next week, obviously, we've got to finish the activation on mangroves out there. And I'm going to carry on with 11BA66. So I've got some more bits to do on that. Then while the weather's nice, we'll get that painted and get that finished. So you'll see a little bit more of that. And uh, <coughs> tomorrow, I might drag the T34 out of the shed because um, everyone likes the T34. And I might make some hollow bone adapters so I can move it around the yard. And I plan to put the hollow bone, hollow bone, plan to put the T34 in here and we'll start getting the T34 ready for show season. I quite like to take it to uh, Tarbert Wall. So it'd um, be good if we could just make it a little bit, got a little bit of trouble with the left hand tiller. So I want to sort that, I want to change the engine oil and f do the fuel tanks and all the other bits. I don't think we'll have time to paint it and restore it, but we'll just get it running and driving a bit better um, for the show. Uh, so we'll just get that in the workshop quickly. And then yeah, we're um, some interesting stuff coming.
So you can see the shoe lining's all cracking to pieces under heat. And what you find is lorries that have been stood for a couple of years that don't really get used often. The linings actually go hard and brittle. So for some reason these are seven inch shoes and the rear axles are all eight. So we'll put the new set of seven inch shoes on here and the, and the drum. And that'll be front axle, mid axle, right and side done. And I think you really get the idea. So I'm not gonna keep filming doing the rest because uh, yeah, it's nothing to it really. Obviously that one was a bit seized, pretty standard. I'll put some more copper grease. It's probably not been changed for a very long while. There's actually loads of meat on them. But um, but yeah, just too old, stood around too long and, and gone hard and cracking up. So they've got to go. Given how beefy them chains are to what we're normally used to, they've got to be ready for at least a hundred ton. Uh, this thing here says uh, six thousand seven hundred and forty forty seventy five ton. That's that's good. That is. That's, like, that's more than I thought. Safe working load. That's a good set of chains. So for those who don't understand tons, it could lift that up. Those chains could just lift that straight up, right? Winch has seen better days. I'm not sure why it's supposed to be in the winch, but the cables are definitely snapped. So that's 
so that needs looking at. I want to get rid of uh, this poor higher crap on the side of it. And I know just that, that ram seal's leaking on that one stage in that high ammo. We have to too bad to change. Yeah, it is. Pretty happy with it. Do any of the lights work? We haven't had the lights. Driver, you've not done your morning checks. Spigots don't work, though. Oh yeah. The most important bit. No, no. See, see, with only one light bar, you're only highways agency, but you're not recovery because the side. proper highways agency. Because the side, the sides don't work. See, so. Kelsey bar, look. He'll rave about Kelsey bars. So, uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you again. <laughs>